<clears throat> Accounting Standard 16, Borrowing Cost. So in this section, we will go through charges of borrowing costs, conditions for capitalization, suspension of borrowing costs, and the disclosures as per the standard. So first we'll take a look at what is what are the charges for borrowing cost. <clears throat> borrowing costs are defined as those other costs incurred or interest in relation to the borrowing activity and includes the following charges, which are commitment charges on borrowing, interest on borrowing. So in connection with arrangements of borrower, amortization of ancillary costs incurred, exchange differences from foreign currency borrowing as regards to adjustment to interest costs and financial charges when assets acquired under financial leases. So this financial charges we will take a look at when we explain the standard on leases, but all the other charges are in relation to borrowing costs, commitment charges, interest on borrowings, etc. So that's about charges and now we'll take a look at what are the conditions for capitalization. So those borrowing costs must be capitalized which are directly attributed to the construction, production or acquisition of qualifying assets, which is an asset which may take a substantial period of time to get ready for sale or its intended use. So the one of the condition is that the borrowing costs must be capitalized which are directly attributed to the construction, production or acquisition of qualifying asset. So that's where we ask what is qualifying asset. So a qualifying asset is an asset which may take a substantial period of time to get ready for sale or its intended use. Another condition is that the qualifying assets that will give that will give to the enterprise a future economic benefit. So all the time a qualifying asset should give a future benefit to the organization. Also a qualifying asset whose cost can be measured reliably. That is a qualifying asset should be, such, uh, should be an asset whose cost should be measured reliably. So these are the conditions for capitalization. <clears throat> Directly attributable costs are costs which would have been avoided had if the expenditure on qualifying assets had not been met. Examples of qualifying assets are <coughs> plan, planned and machinery, patent, investment property, etc. The conditions that are to be met before commencement of capitalization of assets are borrowing costs are incurred, activities enabling an asset to be for sale or put to intended purpose should be in progress. So borrowing costs are incurred. That is one of the conditions uh, be, which should be met before commencement of capitalization of asset. And then uh, there are activities enabling an asset to be for sale or for an intended purpose. That also should be in progress. There should also be expenditure incurred for construction, production or acquisition of a qualifying asset. So these three conditions also have to be met before commencement of capitalization of assets. <clears throat> Suspension of borrowing costs, that is what we take next. So whenever active development is suspended, capitalization of borrowing costs should also be suspended. So whenever there is a development happening and if that development happening for the asset is uh, um, suspended, capitalization of borrowing cost also should be suspended. Capitalization of borrowing cost must cease whenever there is no activity for making a qualifying asset in progress or whenever the qualifying asset meant for sale or its intended use is completed. So capitalization of borrowing costs cannot go on forever. It should stop. When should it stop? It should stop whenever there are, there are no activities for making a qualifying asset in progress or whenever the qualifying asset meant for sale or its intended use is completed. So that is the point where capitalization of borrowing costs should be suspended or stops actually. Finally, disclosures. <laughs> 
The financial statement should disclose amount of borrowing costs capitalized during period as well as accounting policy adopted for borrowing costs. So two things have to be disclosed. One is amount of borrowing costs capitalized during the period as well as accounting policy adopted for borrowing costs. Thank you.